Hi, and welcome to the Mining Overview Series brought to you by Cisco Systems. I'm your host, Roland Plett, and I invite you to dig deeper into what Cisco has for mining at cisco.com slash go slash mining. Enjoy. Mines engaging their customers. Every mining company sells product to someone. This looks very different for an integrated diamond company than it does for an iron ore miner. But in all cases, the success of this customer relationship can fundamentally affect the company's success. Engaging the customers of a mine. As with most industries, mining can have a lengthy supply chain reaching from the mine face all the way to your home where final products can end up. Some fully integrated mining companies own the whole supply chain from the mine to the retail experience. Other mining companies only own the extraction and initial processing components of the supply chain. So their customers are the companies that follow them in the production process. The experience of today's mining customer is no longer governed by a physical handshake between two company representatives. It is much more and much more complex. It's a relationship that involves integrated transaction flows and marketing or retail channels. Let's explore three ways that mining companies engage their customers, and then we'll look at how Cisco technology and services can ensure that this experience is optimized for the needs of both sides in the transaction. The first way is through distribution and fulfillment. In this relationship, for mining companies that deliver raw materials to their customers, the interaction is characterized by physical delivery of product, plus all the accompanying electronic transaction data. Long-term supply agreements are often in place and the day-to-day -day interaction is more about coordinating product demand and all the associated data. The second way is through a retail relationship. For a small number of large vertically integrated companies like De Beers in the diamond industry and Nutrien in the agriculture industry, only one part of their large operation is mining. At the other end of the supply chain is a retail experience where consumers or wholesale customers are engaged with a full marketing experience. The third way is through value added services. In all companies, the opportunity is there to redefine the customer relationship by providing related value added services that fit with the nature of the relationship. Here's a few examples. Mine operators of transport companies Mine operators or transport companies can offer storage or delayed delivery to accommodate demand fluctuations for wholesale customers. These same suppliers can package multiple materials and services together in keeping with the customer's needs. But every mining company can offer information services that are complementary to their company's operation. An example of this is a diamond company's ability to publish a document outlining each diamond's journey from the mine face all the way to the consumer. A second example is a potash miner that sells fertilizer to farmers. In this case, they could have a whole portfolio of farm services that leverage geo-encoded nutrient data on each farm or precision GPS positioning services, information that kind of goes along with their services and products. Today's data-rich supply chain provides many opportunities to leverage information for valuable services to every customer. Let's talk about the impact of Cisco technology. Cisco has a rich history of adding value across the whole industrial supply chain and in retail environments. Here are some examples of how use cases are valuable to engaging a mining customer. First, distribution and fulfillment. As product leaves the processing mill, it accumulates in a shipping area. Where to from here? In many supply chains, this is where the distribution systems take over. Cisco has worked with many kinds of customers to achieve highly automated distribution systems. Mining's material doesn't come in brown boxes or pallets, but many of the logistical and order system challenges are similar to traditional distribution. Cisco has multiple examples of working with distributors on this. The second is retail experiences. Fully integrated mining companies experience many of the same challenges and opportunities that other retailers around the world are working through. In some cases, the customer is a wholesale relationship 
And in other cases, an integrated mining company has a physical or online store to connect directly with consumers. Cisco works with retailers globally on a wide range of use cases from customer engagement, security, efficient product handling, and many more things. Let's look at one of these in more detail, physical security and um, cybersecurity. The increased ways that businesses connect with customers today comes at a price. The more we open up our business to people in physical stores or online using technology, the more attack surface the bad actors can work with. Fortunately, technology also helps us in increasing physical and online security. Cisco is at the heart of many retail customers' security practices. The third one is business process performance. The visibility of how customers experience your business and the visibility of how business processes are working can also have a very valuable um, impact on operations and ultimately on the future strategic decisions. Cisco has a wide range of visibility tools. Some give you visibility to the physical infrastructure and most recent tools and possibly most valuable are application monitoring and business process monitoring tools. We would love to show you how these tools can reduce your operating expenses and help you improve customer experiences. In summary, the customer relationships of any mining company present a new opportunity to grow value through a great experience and value added services. Cisco has multiple technology solutions that optimize these customer experiences and services. Find out more about how Cisco helps mining companies engage with their customers at cisco.com slash go slash mining.